let's put this little baby together. The first thing you need to know about core flute is it has holes in it. Those holes run all the way through. So once we put through our axles, our axle holes are going to spin through the center of that core flute. Let's put together our wheels. We take a wheel and we take a, take a tire and we push them in together, like so. Then the same for the other one. We've only got two tires, so we leave the other wheels with nothing on them. Next, we're going to take our large black pulley and place it down on the bench. Place the axle into the hole, give it a little push, and then take a hammer and tapping it down. Move it over the side of the bench so that it's just on the bench, and we tap it along until we've got it five millimeters sticking out. That's not quite enough, so if you don't have enough, place it back over the bench, tap it another couple of times so you've got around about five millimeters. A little bit over, that's fine. Take our wheel and we push it on. With your second piece of core flute, place it down on the bench, take a pen or a pencil, mark out 25 mil one side, 25 mil the other side, take your rule, line it up between the two marks and draw a line. Then take your scissors, good set of scissors, and then cut straight along that line. The better your scissors will be, the easier it will be to make that cut. It's not going to be easy. So you cut halfway on one side, turn it around to the other side, and cut again. When you're cutting, you need to get your scissors right up to that rotation point. It's called a fulcrum. So push it right up to the fulcrum to make that cut. There we go. Next, we're going to take the scissors and cut off one of the holes, like so. We take one of these holes, five millimeters, or S five millimeters, we're going to cut it off like so. Now you'll have two spacers, a small spacer and a large spacer. Take the axle, place the small spacer on first so it's in connection with the large pulley. Then we slip it through the second last hole of our first piece of core flute. Then we take the second larger spacer and we place it over the other end. We then take the wheel and we connect it on. Important, as you're connecting this on, you need to make sure that there's no movement backwards and forwards, but when you give the wheel a spin, it spins freely. That's very important. Let's put on the front wheels. Front wheels are a lot easier. Simply take the axle, put it into the front wheel, and give it a small push. We then put it through the second hole, front of the core flute. We take the second wheel, place it onto the axle like so, and then push it on. You'll notice that there's quite a lot of side to side action. That doesn't matter. We can spin those wheels on, try and make it equal both sides so there's equal amounts of axle on both sides and it also spins freely. Let's put on our motor. Here's some wire. We need to cut that and attach it to the electrical connectors of our motor. Take the wire, measure 150 millimeters. Take our wire strippers and cut it like so. We need two of those, so you need to repeat that process twice. Take the wire strippers, strip off around about 10 millimeters. Do the same for the other piece. So that you can see the wire. Twist those together, take them over to your motor, Feed it into the hole, bend it over and wrap it around. Do the same to the other side. Let's take some conductive paint, put two small blobs of conductive paint over the end of the terminals. Let's put on our motor holder. We need to make one measurement before we put it on. What I need you to do is take your rule, place it over the hole, the middle of the hole, where the axle runs through for the back wheel. We mark off 30 millimetres. Take your motor holder. On the back end, it'll have a sticker. Pull that sticker off, and that is an adhesive surface. With 
the curve on this side, the opening part of the motor holder on this side, we're going to be sticking it down like so. Before you stick it down, I'd like you to put a small angle on it. So it's not perfectly straight, but it's slightly off. That'll counteract the motor wanting to pull inwards when it's being driven. We've got a number of different types of pulleys. Let's choose one and put it on. I'm going to use the smallest one first. How do we do it? Very easy. We take the hammer, we place the armature over the pulley hole, and we're going to take the hammer and tap it on the back. And keep hitting it down till you can't hit it anymore, then you'll find that the end of the armature will be flush with the end of the pulley. Let's put the pulley onto the vehicle. Very simple to do, we just lift up the arm and slot it straight in. We push it into place so that if I was to take a ruler and place it in between the large pulley at the back and the pulley, they need to be lined up. So I need to push that forward just a little so they're both perfectly lined up. Once you've got that, we're very happy. We can put on a rubber band. Here's a rubber band. We simply slip it over the first pulley, then over the second pulley, and we are done. Next, we're going to be putting on the rib. The rib sits on the back. We need to have a couple of screws to put that rib on. Before we do that, we take a piece of the core flute strip that we had before that we cut the 25 mil, and you're going to be cutting off two pieces that are roughly square. One, two. They don't have to be super accurate, just two pieces that are roughly 25 millimeters square. We take the screwdriver, the Phillips head screwdriver. We take the screw, we push it into the core flute and we give it a twist. We see it popping out the other side, give it a bit more of a twist. So it's got quite a little bit out of it. Then you take it, you put it into the core flute itself and you are going to find the center. I'm going to wind that down. Then we do it all again with the second piece at the back.